Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka, Kwadash, Barakatam. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth, who rule well, and who labor in this word, giving us Akim across the four corners of the globe, the proper breakdowns of these scriptures of the Holy Bible, all through the power and spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. I also want to give a sincere peace, blessings, and salutations to all you Akim across the four corners of the globe that are out here pushing this gospel in all truthfulness and sincerity. You so-called Negroes, you so-called Latinos, you so-called Native Americans, as well as you confusion the face brothers who look like the other heathen nations, but actually your bloodline goes back to the seed of a so-called Negro, a so-called Latino, and a so-called Native American. Now with that, this is going to be another um, stop and play uh, video, and I'm going to get a scripture, and I'm going to... Uh, provide precepts to the scriptures and as you can see uh i was watching tv which i rarely do and what popped up was this and it, the title of it says suicide a public health crisis con and the suicide public health crisis is on the edomites man it's a crisis to them the so-called white man man which you're not white there's no such thing as a white person you're red, according to the Bible. Everybody on the face of this earth has a, net, a biblical identity of who, what nation they belong to. So with that, I'm going to play this video. I may play it all the way out, or who knows, the spirit may have me pause it and grab scriptures and precepts. It's only two minutes long, and then we're going to get into another video. So with that, here we go. psychological needs and it's not the only thing that's going on but it's the reason why this crisis is growing and growing understand I paused it right there because it's it's not understood because you Edomites, y'all y'all prideful. Y'all don't believe in the scriptures, man. The scriptures clearly says that uh all the plagues that came upon the nation of Israel shall come upon you guys. Uh so with that, I am gonna get uh my first scripture. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 30, and verse 7. And the Lord, Yahweh, thy power will put all these curses upon thy enemies and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. Come, you so-called white people, you Edomites, y'all, y'all, first of all, y'all are enemies. Y'all are the so-called Negro, the so-called Latino, and the so-called Native Americans enemy, man. And it says... And on them that hate thee, you hate us with you, with a perpetual hatred. It also says, which persecuted thee. Y'all persecute us to this very day, man. So come. I'm going to go back to this uh, video. Chance 
to release the shame about that, you are 3,100% more likely to attempt suicide. There's a whole range of causes of depression and anxiety that make sense. But when we tell people it's just a problem in their brain, of course there are real factors in the brain, but when we tell them it's just a factor in the brain, what we're saying to them is your pain doesn't mean anything. It's like a glitch in a computer program. And the most important thing we need to explain is explaining to anyone watching your show who is suicidal, who is depressed, who is anxious. Look, man, you Edomites, y'all don't want to face your judgment. So you think that uh, committing suicide is going to uh, take away y'all having to face your judgment. Y'all like to dish it out, but y'all don't want to... Uh, Y'all can't take it, man. So come with that. I'm going to get another scripture. So uh, bear with me, uh, those of you who may come across this video. Um, we're going to go to the book of Joel, chapter 3. Uh, bear with me, Aki. I got to get it in my hard sword because I got my hard sword with me also. Try to keep it with me at all times. Come, come. Now I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna pu I'm gonna pull it up on screen for, for for those of you who come across this video, so you can uh follow along. So come, uh, we're gonna go to the book of Joel, chapter three, and you know what? I'm gonna start at uh, I'm gonna just start at verse one. Let me highlight it for y'all. I gotta see how far I'm gonna take it down. Uh, come. And uh, in my hard sword, uh, the prologue, because I have a, a King James uh, version, uh, 1611 edition, that comes equipped with the Apocrypha. And before each chapter, there's a prologue. And it says, uh, Joel chapter 3, and it says, The Most High Yahweh's judgment against the enemies of his people. So kind. With that, we're going to start. It says, for behold, in those days and in that time when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Yahweh's Shabbat, Yahweh's judgment, and will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage, Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. And they have cast lots for my people and have given a boy for a harlot and sold a girl for wine that they might drink. Come, y'all took our young men and y'all turned them into homosexuals. You know, I'm going to watch my language on this one because YouTube always want to give uh, Akiyam strikes on their channels, man. Uh, and it says, and sold a girl for wine that they might drink. And we're going to do we're gonna do the same unto y'all in righteousness. We're not going to sell y'all uh, boys for it, for homosexual purposes because uh, homosexuality is not going to be allowed in the kingdom of heaven, man. But we sure can sell y'all women for wine like y'all did us. Verse 4, yeah, and what have ye to do with me, O Tyree and Zidon and all the coasts of Palestine? Will ye render me a recompense? And if ye recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I return your recompense upon your own head? Because ye have taken my silver and my gold and have carried into your temples my goodly and pleasant things. Con, this is what you Edomites did. Verse 6, the children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem. And Con, that Judah and Jerusalem represents the northern and southern kingdom. Have ye sold unto the Grecians that ye might remove them far from their border? Behold, I will raise them out of the place whither ye have sold them and will return your recompense upon your own head. So, Khan, yeah, the Mosai is going to recompense you Edomites, and you're not going to be able to escape it, man, through suicide, man. It's And it's clear that and evident is that's what y'all trying to do right now. But, man, y'all not, it's not going to happen. You're not going to get away from your judgment because even if you do commit suicide and the Most High allows your uh, spirit to go back into the spirit world, guess what? You are going to be born back into uh, slavery with a chain around your neck, man. So I'm going to finish this video. Is your pain make sense? 
You're not crazy. You're not a machine with broken parts. You're a right. human being with unmet needs. Now I mean, society is, is crazy. <laughs> I mean, uh, well, you're a brain thing. They're, 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 they're out of time. 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 they are out of time 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 they are out of time
look, man, the the Heavenly Father is about to send his uh his son Yahweh Shai back and about to send the angels back, man. As you can see, Pentagon, supersonic, tic tac, UFO, stalk, USS Princeton for days, man. Khan, the angels, the man, the heavenly father, the angels are stalking you heathens, man, for touching the apple of his eye. Now, Khan, with that, I want to get a, a precept on this. We're going to go to the uh, the book of Psalms. Let me get it in my heart so at first I can bear with me. And this is going to be the last uh, video. We're going to get a couple precepts because we got to uh, make this edifying. We got to... Uh, build up that's what the word edify means when you teach and you have to uh set the base and build up man make it edifying so with that i'm gonna pause it uh and we're gonna go back into the scriptures huh and this is gonna be the book of psalms we're gonna go into the book of psalms we're about to get chariot scriptures because that's what they're talking about they call them ufos unidentified flying objects but we know what they are man the men of the Lord know what these are. And how come ain't no other camp speak? speak? You, you only hear the men of Great Millstone and those that are under the tutelage of the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone speak on the chariots, man. You up, man? Psst. Or Man, let me get these uh, scriptures. This is Psalms chapter 104, verse 3. And it reads, let me see. Matter of fact, uh, we're gonna start at verse one, man. I had to highlight this. Con Psalms chapter one hundred four, starting at verse one. Point being in three. Bless the Lord Yahweh, O my soul. O Lord Yahweh, my power. Thou art very great. Thou art clothed with honor and majesty. Majesty, who covers thyself with light as with a garment. Who stretches out the heavens like a curtain, who layeth the beams of his chambers in the waters, who maketh the clouds his chariot, who walketh upon the wings of the wind. So Khan, those UFOs, those are chariots, man. They can disguise themselves as anything. And these devils, these top elites know, but use low level Edomites, you tobacco spitting, overall wearing. Uh, pieces of shit y'all don't y'all don't grasp that but y'all gonna grasp some chains around your neck when the kingdom come so con going back into this uh video it was briefly tracked on radar but then it seemed to be able to and this again is a phrase from the document it's almost like it cloaked itself and became invisible you'd think this was science fiction if you weren't reading it in Pentagon documents, and we know now, which we didn't know before, that the government took this very seriously, and these things are being seen in our skies, whatever they might be, by pilots tracked on, on radar. And Con, these devils, like I said, they know, they see, they, they see the chariots, man. They know that uh, those are the vehicles of uh, the angels. That the Heavenly Father has a uh, commission to hold back the four winds who are about to bring destruction on this place. Those are salvation that we're going to be beamed up. Though the 144,000 elect, Lord willing, I am one of them and I make it through Jacob's trouble. I'm going to that's going to be my salvation. That's going to be my the ultimate Uber, the ultimate lift, uh, as they say, you know. So, Khan, we're going to get more scriptures on this. Matter of fact, we, we, I, I'm going to just grab this real quick. I need to slow down. I'm kind of excited. And mind you, I, I recorded this uh, on the TV Friday. Today, Sunday, two days ago. I just uh, didn't get a chance to uh, put this, uh, this uh, video out, this video epistle out. So, Khan, we're going to go into the uh, book of 2 Kings. Um, chapter 2, and we're going to read verse 11, man. Con, let me highlight it. And it came to pass, as they still went on and talked, that behold, there appeared a chariot of fire and horses of fire. 
and the Salakit and parted them both asunder, and Elijah went up by a whirlwind into heaven. So Khan, a chariot came and uh, picked him up. Khan, next uh, precept, real quick. This is going to be the book of um, uh, 1 Thessalonians, chapter uh, 4, verse 16 and 17. Khan. And those in the know know the scripture well. And it reads, For the Lord, Yahweh Shai himself, shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, who is Michael, and with the trump of the Most High Yahweh. And the dead in Yahweh Shai shall rise first. Con, so those that die in this doing this word, they're going to rise first, man. Verse 17, Then we which are alive and remain, and that's the 144,000 elect, along with the one-third men, women, and children that are going to receive mercy from Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. So, Khan, that cloud, we just read to you what the cloud was. It's a chariot with the... Uh, the devil will have you to believe is an unidentified flying object, but what we call an IFO, an identifiable uh, flying object, man. The clouds are the chariot of the Lord. And uh, now let's see who gonna, uh, who's piloting these chariots, okay? We're going to get this. Um, bear with me, Akim. You know, I am a novice, but, uh, hey, we're going to get to this. Just bear with me one second. I can, I'm looking for a scripture. I'm going to have to pause it real quick because I got to. Okay, kind so lucky about that. Um, I had paused it, but I wanted to grab this scripture real quick. Uh, before we continue on, this is uh, because we're going to get the the image of visualization of what the what those who pilot these chariots look like. So come, this is Ezekiel, the chapter one, and the point is just going to be in verse seven. Now this is a description of the angels, man, the cherubim. Okay, now you can start up and read at verse one down, but I'm getting to the point. For time's sake. And it reads, and their feet, this is describing those angels that uh the angels of the Lord, and their feet were straight, and the sole of their feet was like the sole of a calf's foot, and they sparkled like the color of burnished brass. So whatever your feet look like, the rest of your entire body is gonna look like. They were they are so called black men, man. The angels are, man. So kind. That's why these people are scared. And you even got on YouTube documentaries of people that work for NASA describing who pilot those planes. Man, you people done. Y'all should have never fucking put your hands on this, man. So kind. With that, I'm going back into this uh this video. Serious defense of national security issue. And to, just to be clear, we don't believe that any other country possesses the technology to create an aircraft like this, right? Absolutely correct, yes. One of the things that went into this report was obviously looking to see if this sort of thing was anything in our own inventory and, and indeed anything that any other nation has. I mean, certainly when I was investigating UFOs for the British government, we knew that some of these things would turn out to be secret prototype aircraft, drones, and missiles. But we always knew through our own intelligence sources, you, you know, who has what, so you can eliminate that. So, what so Khan, this devil admitting that they didn't create this aircraft, that nobody on the face of this earth created this aircraft, man, only a higher power the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai could have created these uh, ships, man, and he did. And guess what? They coming to destroy this place, man. You better, all you people out there, you better pray that you're an Israelite, man. What you're really saying is that the U.S. government 
U.S. government and the British government have essentially concluded that there are there's something not from this world that humans did not create that is being tracked on radar and watched by people who watch aircraft for a living. I mean, it's not this is real. It is real now. You see that. Uh, I will cause their tongue to fall upon themselves, man. Man, and this guy, the uh, the interviewer, uh, Tucker Carlson, he done came past the camp. Uh, uh, he done came across the apostles out there in New York, man. He he better pray that his ass is an Israelite, man. Like the apostle Tahar told him. Government doesn't go so far as to say these things are extraterrestrial, but certainly when I was doing this for the Ministry of Defense. Our policy statement said neither do we rule out that possibility. We said that we we kept an open mind on this. But of course, you know, these things, when their speeds and maneuvers are in excess of anything that you've got or anything that you're aware other nations have, you are forced almost to think the unthinkable. And, and absolutely, part of the problem with this, of course, was just that senior political figures and, and military chiefs often just said UFOs and they rolled their eyes and, and it was the ridicule factor. This seems like a I, I'm sorry, we're out of time, Nick. This just seems like a story that we should be covering much more than we do and I hope you'll come back. Thank you. Thank you, I will do. It was briefly tracked. So Khan, you know, these uh these these devils know man. Bear with me. Con, yeah, these these devils know uh what time it is, man. Uh, I I think I'm gonna uh get a, a precept or two more, and uh we're gonna close this out. Con, we're gonna I'm gonna go to the Book of Acts, chapter uh one, I believe. Bear with me, Akin. Acts chapter one, and I'm gonna start at verse nine. And it reads, and when he had spoken these things while they beheld, he was taken up and a cloud received him out of their sight. So Khan, Yahweh was talking to the disciples and a cloud received him up. What is that cloud? We got it in Psalms 104. Uh, it's the chariots, man, with the angels riding. Verse 10, and while they looked steadfastly toward heaven, as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel, which also said, ye men of Galilee, why stand you gazing up into heaven? This same Yahweh Shai, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. So Khan, just like the chariots took him up, when he returns, those same chariots are going to be coming back, shooting concentrated uh, fire on this place, man, to blow uh, modern-day Babylon, which is America, off the map. And also certain other places on this earth, uh, so that Yahweh Shai can uh redeem and save his people, man. It's kind. So with that, hopefully this video was edifying. Uh once again, I want to say call Haloyim, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Raka Kodash, Barakatam, which is all praises to the Heavenly Father in the name of his Son and the Holy Spirit. Bless you. I also want to give Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, who labor in this word, and who taught me this truth. I also want to give a sincere peace, blessings, and salutations to you, Akim, across the four corners of the globe that are out here pushing this gospel, which is the good news and all truthfulness and sincerity. So, with that, I want to say Shalom, a ball, ball.